What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, something very exciting has come to Steam. It's the first subscription service on the platform, EA Play. So as you probably know by now, EA has their own EA Access, where you can pay a basic or a premium amount every month, and you get access to a lot of EA games you don't have to buy as long as you're on the subscription service, as well as a lot of other awards. EA are bringing something to Steam, EA Play. You get a lot of access to exclusive rewards and member-only content, access to a lot of EA's games, up to 10 hours in new EA game releases before you have to buy them, and you can save 10% on EA digital purchases from full games to DLC. If we scroll down in this page that's linked in the description down below, we can see some of the titles that are included in this pack, and of course you can scroll sideways on most of these. A lot of them are old games, but some of them are newer ones, such as Need for Speed Heat, which was released in June 2020, as well as a couple of other new titles. And if we scroll down to the very bottom, we see the two plans that are available, paying either monthly or yearly, so for either $4.99 a month, or in my case, 48 South African Rands per month, that you can cancel at any time, or you can pay for a yearly subscription and save quite a bit. Of course, in order to do this, you'll have to read their EA Play terms, which are linked over here. Scrolling down even more, we can see some info on exactly what's happening and some info about it. In order to eventually cancel a membership, simply log into your Steam account, choose Reoccurring Subscriptions, and click on the Cancel My Subscription button, and then apply No Fuss, No Muss. Super simple. So of course, to best demonstrate exactly how this works, all I'm going to do is open this up in my Steam client so that I can pay for it. Opening up Steam over here, you can see that I'm on the basic store page and there's no link to this EA Play or at least that I can easily see. All that you have to do is find the link to it and simply select it, then drag and drop it into this browser window and it will automatically take you there in Steam as long as you have the store page open or one of these other web pages. Then once you have it open in your Steam client, you're more than able to scroll down and simply just sign up for it without having to do anything extra. Of course, my prices are in South African rands, as I live in South Africa, but yours will be slightly different. So of course, because there's no major discount to sign up for an entire year, because it's a fresh release, all I'll do is sign up for a month, and I'll go through the cancellation process, so I only pay for a month. After clicking that, you can see that it's added to my cart, and unfortunately, you're not able to purchase it for a friend, you have to purchase it for yourself. If I click purchase for myself, you'll see this over here, and of course, you can pay with your own Steam wallet funds, which is incredibly important to me because I sell a lot of items and I have the money in Steam that I'm not able to take anywhere else. If I click the I agree button and click purchase, you can see that I now have access to EA Play. So what exactly do we have to do? Well, I'll click here to get started. We're taken back to this EA Play page where we can simply just click add to library on any of these titles and they'll be added to our Steam library. Of course, we can add from any one of these. If we click show more, these are the ones that are recommended for me. Scrolling down, we have the action category, adventure category, puzzle, racing, shooter, simulation, and that seems to be about it. As for whether you get DLCs to something like The Sims 4, I'm not entirely sure, but let's go ahead and give this a test. I'll be adding Need for Speed Heat to my library as it's a new release. Simply just clicking the add to library button, you can see in library and a play now option. I currently don't own Battlefield 5 or Titanfall, but I have added this to my library. If I click Library Home at the very top, you'll see this over here. Welcome to EA Play. Would you like to add the EA Play Dynamic Collection to your library? I'll click Add Collection to make this nice and simple. And if I click Add Shelf, it'll add it to my homepage over here as well. If I close out of it and uncheck my Show Only Installed Games button, you'll see something over here. I have my category current, High probability, and now we have a new category that has a lightning symbol next to it, meaning dynamic collection. Inside of here, EA Play, we have all of the games that we add to our library. Simply just clicking install, we can go through the installation process and automatically download our game as if we just purchased it, but instead we've only spent about $5 on a month's subscription. I would assume that when this month ends, the exact same thing happens as on the Origin Store. The game suddenly becomes quote unquote unowned, you won't be able to launch it but you'll still have the files on your PC and assuming that you decide to pay for another month, you'll have access to it once again without having to re-download too much, if at all, besides of course, updates. So of course this is going to take some time to allocate, because I have the subscription service added to my account, every month I'll get charged for it. So how exactly do we manage it? 
Well, in the top right, you'll find your username. Simply click on it and then click Account Details. Then we'll be taken to here. Simply find Manage Subscriptions under Store and Purchase History. Clicking on this, all of my subscriptions on Steam are listed here. Previously, I paid for the Plus membership for Elder Scrolls Online. But over here, we can see EA Play one month recurring. Subscription to be billed, 48 Rand 50 cents every one month. Next billing date, 30th of September. Amount due, 48.50. Assuming we'd like to cancel this, all we have to do is click edit next to it, and we see this over here. We're able to change it between monthly, yearly, and we can choose to cancel our subscription entirely. Assuming you want to cancel it and only pay for one month, simply select cancel my subscription and then click apply. As you can see at the very top, your subscription will automatically renew by charging your stored credit card on the next billing date. Should you choose to cancel your subscription, it will remain active through the end of the current billing cycle, meaning that once the cycle ends, you won't be charged for it anymore. And of course, you'll be able to use it in the meanwhile. So now the game's decided to finish allocating and it's currently downloading as well. Great. So now we know how to cancel and manage our subscription. Of course, if you'd like, you can change it to a 12 monthly subscription and end up paying yearly at basically half the price. Assuming we would like to add more games, simply head across to the store and then we can look for EA Play. Where do we find it? Hovering over your store, you'll see under subscriptions, EA Play. If we click on this, we'll be taken back to this EA Play information page over here where we can add these games to our inventory. So I can add Battlefield 5, Sims 4, Titanfall, Battlefield 1, Battlefront 2, A Way Out, and the rest of these games one by one into my library. So there we go, I've basically added every game to my library. If I head back to my library over here, under EA Play, we currently have 41 titles active. Whether this is all of them, I'm not entirely sure, but we have all of these in our inventory and we're able to play them immediately. Now, of course, I own most of these games already on the actual Origin store, so I won't be playing most of them. The only real thing that I'll be playing will be Need for Speed Heat over here. If, of course, you want to play Battlefield 5, 1, 3, 4, Bad Company 2, etc., then these are all here. Fortunately, as you probably know, Battlefield Hardline and a couple of other games are completely dead in certain countries. For me, in South Africa, I probably will never get the chance to play Battlefield Hardline, unfortunately. But of course, with all of that aside, that is EA Play. I would assume that if we head across to the EA Publisher page over here, we can head across to Browse and find some new games. As we can see, Madden NFL 21 is available here. And of course, it's brand new, so it's incredibly expensive. But if we scroll down to here, you can see Try Madden NFL 21 Standard Edition Play First Trial. 10 hours remaining. If I were to click play now, you can see that it's adding it to my inventory and preparing to launch. Here I can choose to install it. I'll go ahead and click cancel so we don't actually start the download. If I head across to my library and look for Madden NFL, you'll see it over here, Madden NFL 21. 10 hours remaining and we have the option to install or play it. As far as I know, this is very similar to the way that EA currently does it on the Origin platform where you can play brand new releases of games for up to a couple of hours. On Steam, we get 10 hours for the brand new games. And I would assume that in a couple of months, when this isn't as new as it was originally, it probably will be added to the EA Play subscription service and you'll get access to it for as long as you want for completely free. But anyways, that's about it for this video. That was a complete rundown on EA Play. You now should be able to purchase it with your wallet funds or a credit card, another source, etc. Add games to your library, install them, play them, and of course, cancel your subscription, assuming that you'd ever like to do that. That's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.